welcome to my channel, welcome to my video. Today's pretty crazy, we're on a road trip, woo! I'm out of breath because I just was dancing, and yeah. I don't know why, but I actually just called Dallas Nick. I like literally don't know anyone named Nick. Part of my day. <laughs> We're gonna take a picture. I'm just gonna take a video for the men. Welcome to Kansas. Oh, I need a picture or anything, so I'm gonna get back in the car. Oh no. You don't want food? Food? How are you not how are you not like deathly hungry? What? I'm so hungry. Last night, woke up at 8 o'clock to go to a doctor's appointment, then went to the gym, then went and talked to Dallin, and now my house is absolutely hectic, and I definitely want to start vlogging all of this, but I'm going to start that all tomorrow. So if you didn't know, the reason that we're all back in Missouri is because Michael, my brother, is getting married to Brittany, and they're getting married tomorrow, they're getting sealed in the temple, and then on Saturday they have like a ring ceremony slash reception in our backyard. So my house is literally insane right now, everything's crazy. And this is the first time in, I don't know, since I was like 13 or 14, since all nine of my family members have been together because people have been on missions or uh, living away and just it hasn't worked out to where we're all back together so we are definitely going to be filming a sibling tag because if you didn't know i have six siblings there's seven of us and i don't think they have all been in a video together like ever it's going to be pretty insane and i'm really excited for that but i just kind of need to like not vlog today while you know all the craziness is happening a little bit and i promised you guys that i would tell the story of the motorcycle accident so i'm just going to kind of do a little bit of a story time and then on saturday i'll post a vlog all about the wedding all about the craziness and then the sibling tag will be posted next week so there's lots of really fun videos coming so make sure to subscribe if you're new but let me go ahead and start my story about the motorcycle accident if you guys didn't know, I've been in Utah living with my brother because I just like wanted to kind of get away and that's where I'm going to end up moving like in January. So I was super excited to go out and kind of like try it out. I've living, I've been living at his house just like chilling in the living room. If you haven't watched my summer morning routine, you can go watch that and see like how it all works out there. Well, wow, I kind of miss my room. This is kind of nice to be like back in my room filming. Jordan's car, he drives a Jeep. It's been having some problems because off-roading and stuff. So it's in the shop, right? My car, I let Benji take to go hang out with some friends for me and fly. So neither of us have a car, but we want to go somewhere. We talked to Logan and Sterling. We all decided we want to go to the skate park, you know, just a chill day. We were going to take Logan's car, but everyone was like, no, it's nice. Like, let's take the motorcycle and the mopeds. I was like, I'm going to ride with Jordan. Like, I feel like I tried trust him the most or whatever I don't even know I did decide that I wanted to wear a helmet because like some people were like oh I don't know I don't really want to wear a helmet like the skate park's like right there but like I'm smart and I love living and I wore a helmet so I'm very thankful that I did that I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt and <laughs> <laughs> not a good idea when you're on a motorcycle so we decided to go to the skate park and we drive over it's like five ten minutes away we stopped and got food we i had the skateboard in between me and jordan so the skate park was fine and then like everything was chill we we're having a really good day i was planning on going to the mall jordan was going to go to crossfit and so we start driving back to the house and you know how they say that all wrecks happen within like a mile of your house or whatever let me tell you, it is so true because I could see the mailboxes, which means you're like really close to the house. Like I could walk to the house in like a minute from where we were. Logan was behind us on the moped, Sterling went a different way, and me and Jordan were like leading the pack and I was holding on, skateboard in between us, and there's this yellow car. So like here's the streets, there's cars parked here, cars parked here, this yellow car starts coming out, and obviously he does not see us, he can't see us, but we're already going too fast because you know, we have the right of way, he had a stop sign and he didn't see us, so we're already going and there's no way that we can stop in time safely as I see this happening I know exactly like what's gonna happen I know we're gonna crash and I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital I thought I was gonna break a leg maybe get a concussion who knows but the skateboard in between us I hug Jordan like 
life or death right there and I was gonna close my eyes but I actually really wanted to see what was gonna happen so I keep my eyes open and I just hold on for dear life and the motorcycle kind of starts to like swivel a bit had my helmet on I was ready prepared to like die and then we actually didn't even hit the car so we come and we just like skirt and like the motorcycle falls a little bit but Jordan kind of like catches it he slammed his leg on it I slammed my leg on it but we I don't think we actually even touched the car he just like stopped us by like going like that on the car and it was like really close like that close probably we technically didn't even hit them but like it was still an accident everything hey welcome okay. to the story time and oh, when you died yeah when I died not clay fade this time also my camera's about to die so it's great I like get up and I like my first thought was what do I do with the skateboard because I was just holding it I don't know why I thought that and I turned Logan's like running towards us the guys are all getting out like asking if we're okay and Jordan was like yeah I think I'm fine I'm like he was just saying he's good it was all like if I was good or not so they all look at me and I was like yeah like I'm fine my leg kind of hurt and I was kind of limping but I didn't like I didn't know I know that I didn't break anything so I was just like walking and I was like yeah I'm fine and I was like I'm just gonna skateboard home because everything was like stressing me out and scared me so I just start I like put the skateboard down I was about to start going and everything starts turning black and I can't hear anymore and I just look and like Logan was getting back on the moped Jordan was about to get back on the motorcycle we we're just gonna go back to the house forget about it you know I turn and I just walk towards him, put my hand on his shoulder, and I was like, I can't hear anything. And I thought I said it just like, I can't hear anything, I'm like help. But Sterling said that I sounded drunk and that I was like walking all sideways and I was like, I can't hear anything. And then everything kind of goes black and I can't, like everything's ringing in my ears, but I, I still knew what was happening, happening, everything was conscious. In my head, I was like, oh, we need to vlog this. Like I almost asked Logan to like get my camera out and stuff, but I didn't, so I don't have any footage from it. I kind of wish I did, but my safety was more important. So he takes me over to this guy's car, and he's like, hey, I need to take her to the hospital. He was like, like he picks me up. He's like, I'm taking you to the hospital right now. So he runs over to this guy's car. He's like, hey, can you, like, take her back to the house? Like, it was right there. So this guy drives over. Logan's following right next to him on the moped, and we, like, walk into the house. And by then, like, everything was ringing and stuff, but as soon as I walked in the house, everything was clear, and I could hear again, and I was like, Okay, I think I was just in shock because I did the same thing when I like jumped on a nail. Sat down on the couch and I was like, hey, I don't need to go to the hospital. It's all okay. Like, I'll let you know if things start to like, something happens and I do need to go to the hospital. But right now I'm fine. So I just drank some water. He brought up some ice and I kind of kept my leg el elevated. And then Jordan came in. He said that he just had like some burns, some bruises. And same, I just had a couple cuts. Okay, someone's connected to my Bluetooth speaker right now and I can hear it. Anyway, so I had like bruises and cuts all down. Okay, I'm unplugging this. Wow, I missed our yard. Who's that? Oh, okay, that was weird. That was kind of scary. So I have like cuts and bruises all down my legs. I would show you by my jeans, so this is awkward. But I have like one big bruise here and it's like green. I have like one down here, which I always hurt because it's like where all my high tops go. And then I have like a cut here and there's like a giant bump right here. But I just want to say, like, we were, like, for the situation we were in, the least bad thing happened, if that makes sense. Like, we could have laid the motorcycle. I could have had to go to the hospital. I could have got a concussion. We could have hit our heads, but we didn't hit our heads. We just got all scraped up, and it was, like, fine. But that's kind of the story. So I hope you enjoyed the story of how I almost died, but then I didn't. And, yeah, so everything's fine. And now we're here at a wedding. Also, I ended up going shopping after anyway, and Jordan still went to CrossFit, so obviously we're fine. Nothing ended up happening. I'm just really thankful that we didn't actually die or anything. So just be careful if you ride a motorcycle, wear a helmet, watch out, because literally no one can ever see you. And that's pretty much the story. Next video is going to be like my whole fam together, so stay tuned. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and my social media is down below.